before I start today's video, I just want to give a really quick public service announcement. Um, if anybody has met Karma, uh, she truly is a bitch. In one of my first videos that I made a couple of months ago, I was raving about how great my plants were doing, which simply was just the wrong thing for me to do. And I should have known better because as soon as quarantine started, I wanna say the first or second week of March, I like many others fled from the city to seek refuge in my hometown on Long Island with my family. And of course I came back four months later. It really is every plant mom's worst nightmare. Anyways, enough about my sob story. Let's get into today's video. Do you ever leave an argument and kick yourself because now you've thought of all the great witty comments that you could have given back to that? God, that could have gone so much better. Especially when people come at me for being vegan and they give smart ass or funny comments that they think are hilarious, but they're not funny at all because I've actually heard all of those jokes a million times. So thankfully I've stopped replaying all those conversations with low life frat boys in my head and written them all out. Now I'm putting them out into the world for all of you to hear in a segment I like to call responses to vegan questions I get all the time, even those smart ass questions that people think are funny, but in reality are not actually funny. But of course, YouTube has a word limit, so I've shortened it to responses to questions I get about veganism. Let's get started. First question. If you love animals so much, why are you eating their food? If you love yourself so much, why don't you go for a run every once in a while, David? Do you care if I eat this burger in front of you? Yes, of course I care, but I'm not actually gonna tell you I care because I like coming to this diner and I don't wanna cause a scene. Do you miss bacon? Absolutely not. Bacon, honestly, is one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen or smelled in my entire life. But I do miss rich. Is it expensive to be vegan? It's expensive to be me in general. I wouldn't say veganism is the root cause of that issue? How do you live without cheese? I was specially trained at a very young age. It's called lactose intolerance. Why do vegans tell you that they're a vegan within the first five minutes of you meeting them? If you devoted the most important thing in your life, food to be exact, to one very important cause that you feel so passionately about, wouldn't you want to let everybody know too? I mean, we are giving up a lot of stuff in our lives to like be good people and like love animals and the earth and our bodies. I want you to know about it. But I also really need that kind of attention. Or people just do it to be trendy and they want you to know that they're hipsters. I actually don't know the answer to this question and I am totally guilty of doing it too, but let's keep doing it. Where do you get your protein? I think you can answer that question. Would you eat a bug? Would you? Do plants feel pain? No. But what about when you cut the grass? Doesn't that smell of the grass signal to other plants that they're dying? No. But what about- No. Why are you such a bitch? If you ate spinach every day, you'd be a bitch too. Do you only date other vegans? No, vegan guys are usually really weird. Do you watch all of those sad videos of animals being tortured for fun? No, they are not true crime podcasts. No one actually wants to watch, that's disgusting. If you were stuck on a deserted island with nothing else to eat but meat, would you eat meat? No, but I'd probably be having a more stimulating conversation than the one I'm currently having with you. Why don't you eat eggs? It doesn't harm the chickens to get the eggs, right? Because the chickens are like taken away from their mom. Little baby chickens that are like boys that can't lay eggs. They literally just throw them in a grinder, guys. They throw them in a grinder and they... <laughs> Humans have evolved to eat meat. Look, we have canines. Okay, first of all, these are not really canines. These are like wimpy canines. Have you ever seen an actual predator? Their teeth are like this big and they could probably rip open your skin in three seconds. I couldn't do that even if I tried. And this is a larger conversation with good points on very both sides. But let's just make the point that humans have evolved to do a lot more things and look where we've gotten ourselves into. Global warming exists. Are you a tree hugger? He'd have to buy me dinner first, but sure. Would you eat an animal if it was raised and killed in a humane way? All right, let's just set up a scene here. If I gave you a really great life and you were so happy and you lived on a really nice farm or let's say a really nice penthouse apartment and one day I told you, you know what, Brenda? You've had a really good life. You've been so happy, but it's time for you to get killed now. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't agree to that either. Is this just another phase you're going through? Choker necklaces were in a phase, my chemical romance wasn't a phase, and after about five years, neither is this. Sorry, mom. And my final and favorite question, what is the point? One person can't make a difference. And to that I say, haha, sir, you are wrong. Because one person can make a difference. If I talk to two people, and then those two people talk to two people, and then one of those people start a podcast, that's like a shit ton of people. And look at the 56 people that watched my last video. That's like 56 more people that know that vegans are crazy and they have good dad jokes. 
Well, that's the end of my rant for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because I make videos like every three months, I think, probably at this point. Also, follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of vegan content that, I mean, yeah, that's all I do. Bye!